Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be making some sun-dried bok choy. Now this is the bok choy that I've grown in my garden. It's beautiful, green, and leafy. There's many ways you can cook bok choy when it's fresh. For example, you can make stir fries with them, you can fry rice with them. But today we're going to be drying them and storing them so we can use it throughout the winter to make soup. Bok choy is packed with nutrition and has so many health benefits. It's definitely worth planting in your backyard. So I wanted to share with you when you know to harvest your bok choy. The moment you notice the flowers starting up, you need to harvest the bok choy or it gets really, really tough. So I want to show you, for example, this one here, you can let it grow bigger as the flower hasn't come out yet. But if you look closely, you see in here when the flower starts to form, this is a perfect time to harvest your bok choy. Here are the bok choy that we planted in a month ago. So this is about four weeks of growing. And what we're doing today is we're harvesting these and we're gonna do dried bok choy that makes choy gong tong, makes a beautiful soup. So let's get started. So my mom is actually gonna harvest one of these big leafy bok choy, organically grown, no chemicals. Isn't it beautiful? So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go in, we're gonna rinse them Get rid of the sand and then we're going to boil it and then we're going to dry it and preserve it and you can make soup with this throughout the winter season so we're harvesting a whole bunch of these aren't these lovely and beautiful green leafy bok choy doesn't take a lot of time to grow so it's a perfect thing to plant it's gonna have a whole bunch of these to harvest this, how gorgeous these are. It's a beautiful bok choy. So cut them as close as you can to the stump, to the soil. And we're going to bring these in. Beautiful. Thoroughly rinse all the soil and debris from the bok choy. We're going to be blanching the bok choy, but remember, we're not actually cooking the bok choy. We're going to let it sit in a hot water bath for a few minutes. When you notice that the bok choy has wilted slightly, remove it from the hot water bath. Repeat this process for all of your bok choy. Mm -hmm. 
Rinse the bok choy under cold water and gently squeeze the excess water from the leafy part of the bok choy. You will need to hang your bok choy in the sun to sun dry. Now it will depend on how much sunlight you actually get. You need to make sure that the bok choy is nice and dry before you bundle it up and store it away. As you can see, my bok choy on day 3 is ready to be packed away. You will need to bundle it up and then store it in a Ziploc bag. Sun-dried bok choy makes a delicious and healthy soup. Come back and visit my YouTube channel again to see how I make this dried bok choy soup.